Hello, welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. And if I'm stuttering a bit, it's because I'm shivering. It's about, it's a, like I said, about the first weekend in fall. And up here in Canada, it's unseasonably cold. I think it's about four or five Celsius. And I'm not gonna do the time to do the math on what that is in Fahrenheit. But, anyways, you guys have seen several of my videos on saws. You know how much fun I have with saws. This is a new one. Now you guys know that I have talked about the Baco Laplander many times, how it is the, it's one of the best outdoor saws around. What I just discovered, however, is Baco sells that saw under different names. So this is actually what I picked up. I want to first, before I even show you this, I want to thank Jesse, who's formerly of the Edmonton North store at uh, Wholesale Sports. I want to thank him for pointing me in the direction of this one. This is a great saw. And this, I know it's a little delayed, but this is the unboxing. So here we go. This is the Kershaw Taskmaster saw. What's interesting is, this is, I've compared the two. I actually have a friend who's got a Baco Laplander. This is the exact same saw. And it is about $10 cheaper. Not sure how that came about. There are very, very few stores that will actually sell the Baco Laplander up here in Canada. Now that's something, well, maybe Baco wants to look into that. You've seen this, by the way. This is a uh, Condor Outdoors pistol magazine case, and this is my Swiss Army one-handed trekker. Short work. Ooh, cuts paper real nice. So there we go. As you can see, I've also done some more work on my outdoor table. This is going to be my picnic table, actually. This was just an old uh, it's a little patio table. It was glass topped and then the glass broke. So I've actually covered it and I'm going to waterproof it soon. But enough of that. So there are no directions on the saw. There's nothing in the package except for the saw itself. I've compared this, and this is the same, it's the same length as the, uh, let's get there over here, uh, yeah, now, this is the same length as the Fiskars pruning saw I have, but it is the same style, it's got a very nice grip here, you know I'm wearing gloves, it's flipping cold out here, let's take a look at something interesting though. The teeth on this saw are somewhat asymmetric. Nice thing is that's supposed to improve the cutting. The second thing is this blade is a lot tougher. It's a lot less flexible. So we are going to take a look at this. The other nice thing is it locks very, very firmly. It's not like the El Cheapo Sierra, actually not so El Cheapo Sierra saws. They're cheap but, ex but pricey. Cheap as in not great quality. This did cost me about $35 Canadian, maybe a little bit more. Actually I think with tax it was more like $40. But again, so this is the saw. This is, we'll see if this is one of my new favorites too. So let's go see how it cuts. All right. So I've got what I think is a dry piece of poplar here. And I've given the blade a bit of a spray with WD-40 because it's a good idea to do that with any blade. Let's see how this cuts. and that's an inch and a half thick piece of wood that's not bad that's not bad at all so at least let's see how it goes through greenwood on the other hand 
This is dry wood. Okay, so here it is again. This on the other hand is a one and a half inch piece of freshly cut poplar, not even an hour ago, so it's green. Let's see how this works. Sticky. Hmm. That's about 28 strokes. That's not bad. That's a bit of work. Makes me wonder if this coating on the blade would uh, wear down a bit and make it easier, but still, that's a pretty decent saw. Okay, so we've seen this is a pretty darn fantastic saw. Like I said, if you cannot get your hands on a Baco Laplander, this is it. It's the Kershaw Taskmaster saw. It is the same saw. I've actually researched that on several sites and yeah, it's identical. It even takes the Laplander blades. So, is this a keeper? Yes. This is a marvelous little saw for, uh, well, again, that's about as big as you're going to cut, maybe four or five inches with no trouble. But yeah, this is, this is an absolutely fantastic saw. I did want to see something though, because I have, that there's no case for this saw. I actually have this, this is another Condor Outdoor pouch. I just wanted to quickly see if it fits and how well it does. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of pushing it. There's only a half inch of Velcro hanging on to this. I might do in a pinch. So I'll try to find a better case for this. Although, you know, that's pretty good. Let's hang this on the outside of your pack. Again, I check the Condor Outdoors website a lot, so We'll see. The nice thing if you had a pouch like this is you may be able to carry a couple of extra blades. And I'm not certain, but I, I believe there's other, even other types of blades for it. So, there we go. The Kershaw Taskmaster Saw, which is a Baco Laplander in all but name. And it, it's a keeper. So, thanks for watching another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name's Dean. Take care and good day.